Hi everyone, it's me again, back with another workout that you can do at home. I hope you like the one that trained it yesterday. So today, one of the most challenging things that I found when I create workouts that you can do at home is not knowing what kind of equipment you have at home. I don't know if you have dumbbells or kettlebells or sandbags, so be creative because I'm trying to be as creative as I can. I'm trying to think outside the box how to create workouts where I'm more balanced because it's easy to squat or to do push-ups, but when it comes to work out our back, to do pulls, to do over or head uh, exercises, that one's got more challenging. So I'm gonna try to design workouts that are more balanced for you guys. So I recommend if you have the time, or if you dare go to Walmart or any of those places right now and get you know a little set of equipment that you can get to, to work out with, that'll be great. If not, these workouts are designed for you to do at home when you don't require a lot of stuff, all right? So let's have some fun and let's just get into the workout. All right, guys, today workout, we have five exercises on the left, five on the right. The way we're gonna do it is, for example, in, this, in the first round, we're gonna do sumo deadlifts. You're gonna do about 20 reps in the first round of all the exercises, 20 reps. But from there, we're gonna hold the position on each exercise. For example, from the sumo deadlifts, we're gonna go to the wall sit. The way I recommend it is, when you start with high reps, which is 20, 18, and 16, Hold that position for about 30 seconds. And then when you drop more weights to the 14, 12, the 10, you can up to 45 seconds. And then the last round, which goes super fast because it's very little reps, like six or the eight or the four, then you can hold it for a minute. Now, if you feel good, you can start holding all the positions for a minute. It will take you about 45 minutes to an hour to complete this workout if you do it right. So again, more reps, less time you hold it, the less reps, try to hold it for a longer, longer period of time. 45 seconds to a minute. All right, on the exercise number one, we got the sumo deadlifts. I don't know if you have any weights at home. If you have a kettlebell, so dumbbells, use them. If you don't, I was thinking maybe we can use some pain buckets, right? I'm pretty sure everybody has a pair on, the, on your garage. If not, you can use a mill jug or again, a backpack. Put some weights in the backpack. Those are great. Sumo position, my heels outside my hips, my toes pointing to the outside. My knees are gonna follow my toe. Stand tall, keep your shoulders back. Try to go as deep as you can without leaning forward too much. Grab those buckets and come up straight up. Remember, the first set is 20 reps. From there, I'm gonna go to a wall sit. On the wall sit, I like to use those bands. If you have any of those resistant, you can get an Amazon. You will still get it delivered in your house. If you don't have them, that's fine. If you do, put them above your knees. Hold that wall sit and you can do splits with your bands above your knees. If not, that's fine. If you wanna add something to it, grab those buckets, put them on your legs, or hold them down, or hold them straight up. Remember, 20 reps, you can start with 30 seconds, or you can do the full minute, it's up to you. And then on the second one, we have a plank row. It's important that we use weights, because we've been doing a lot of push-ups. I think uh, my last workout, I did some plank push-ups, and then Trent was him doing hand release push-ups. So today, we're gonna try to push a little bit. I mean, pull. On that one, I'm gonna put my hand down. I'm gonna hold that position. My hips are below my shoulders. Remember, you're not here. Your heels never touching the ground. Keep them nice and straight. Get that bucket and bring them up. Squeeze your back when you come up. Try not to turn too much on this one. Keep your chest down to the floor. I'm gonna do my 20 and my 20 on each arm. Then, I'm gonna hold the curl. The way we do it, keep your arms extended. Bring them up, again, away from me, guys. I wanna hold it here. We do this in class when we walk around the building. You can do that at home too. You can grab two buckets if it's needed. Just hold them up. My palms are facing up, very important. Try to squeeze my arms, work on those arms a little bit. You can do 30, 45, two minutes. It's up to you guys, depends how many reps are you doing. From there, we go to reverse lunges. I'm, I can use this again. Pretty simple, same arm, same leg. Going all the way down, keeping my back straight. I do my 20 my 20 on the other side. Then I'm gonna hold the pose. I'm gonna go back and hold it. Stay there, feel it on your quad, feel it on the glute. Switch it to the other side. You can either do the 20 reps on each leg and then hold it on each leg, or the way I like to do it, I do my 20 reps, then I stay there. And then I switch to the other side. I do my 20 on the other leg, then I hold it. That's the way I wanna do it, but it's up to you. Shoulder presses. Over her head, I can use this. There's two ways to do it. If it has a handle, I have to drop my hand. If I bring my hand up, that hurts. Drop it, same way with the kettlebell. Keep it closed, bring them all the way up, 
all the way down. If you want a more challenging, grab him by the bottom, press him up, just make sure it's closed. No, for real, make sure it's closed. Bring him all the way up, all the way down. I do my other arm, then I'm gonna hold that position by bringing my arms on right here. Hold it, it looks easy, but after 10, 15 seconds, after all those presses, it's gonna start. Don't push your hip forward, remember working core. If you wanna walk around with it, that's great because it's more core for you. That's the shoulder. And then on the last one, we're just gonna do our setups. The setups, again, you can do it with a bucket. You can do them on the floor. You don't have to do it on the stepper. Just keep your legs up, make it more challenging. Do your 20 and then hold that position. Arms straight, try to keep your legs extended. Feel good on your stomach. If you feel on your back, you're probably leaning too far. Come up a little bit, get your chest out. Hold it again, minute, 45, 30 seconds up to you. And then we'll start all over again. We go to our 80s or 16 and 14 and then complete that workout, it should be good. Again, if you like the first workout, if you wanna do it again, do it. Repeat as many workouts as you can. It's not like you have to do it last week, put it, post them up. If you wanna do that, that's great too. And again, thank you for, very much for watching. I hope you're doing it and I hope to see you soon. Miss your faces, guys. See you soon.